This is a demonstration of the Color Kinetics Configuration Calculator. The Configuration Calculator will help you determine how many fixtures you can connect to your Data Enabler Pro or a line voltage circuit. The Configuration Calculator is used for all PowerCore products. The, it's important that you make sure you do have the latest release of the configuration calculator. This can be found on the Color Kinetics website under support and software downloads. As we introduce new products, if you're using one of those new products, you have to make sure that we have the updated release that has those products available. The user interface of the configuration calculator has the Data Enabler Pro, so the enabler type. It has all your fixture types, jumper cables, leader cables, junction box. You can determine what line voltage you're using depending on where you are. The max circuit load, so 15, 20 amps or other the frequency. It has your layout view here so that once you start building your application, depending on what you're selecting on here, you can get different properties to make changes to a leader cable, jumper cable. Um, in this case, if we choose, let's say, Color Blast Power Core Gen 4. We can determine if we're going to use a, let's say, a junction box or what's the distance between a data enabler and the first fixture. And again, if we're spacing them out, let's say five, 10 feet apart, we'll have, you know, jumpers in between. Um, again, also if we're using linear product. Uh, we have standard leader cables and jumper cables for the linear product. For the flood type applications um, where we're running different distances between products, the installer would be responsible for providing these cables in between the uh, fixtures. When building your installation here, the configuration calculator does take into consideration the power core rules. So from data enabler to last fixture on an individual run is 175 feet. If you're doing a junction box and having multiple branches, if you add all those lengths up, you cannot exceed 400 feet. It also takes into account the max circuit load. So as we're adding fixtures, you have your total power down here in watts and amps. We also have an output log that shows the power, the current voltage drop and resistance. So that will uh, take into account, into account depending on you know, what the G-rated value is on the circuit load. For linear product, it also does take into consideration the connectors that are on fixtures and let's say the jumper cables and leaders. Um, each fixture type uses different type of connectors. Those will have different tolerances and resistance values. So the configuration calculator does take that into consideration as well. So some typical examples of some installations and, and how the calculator configuration calculator would be used is let's say I'm going to choose my data enabler and we'll add some color blast. How many color blasts can I put on one single run? Let's say in this case we'll add a fixture and we'll say from the data enabler to the first fixture is going to be 10 feet. If I click on that leader I can come down here and change the properties. 12 gauge, we can change the wire gauge. Um, in this case, we'll have 10 feet. So from data enabler to the first fixture is 10 feet. Then I'm gonna add another fixture. 
And what we'll do is let's, let's face them out every five feet. So we're five feet here. That changes to five feet. I click on the fixture again and add another fixture. So now every fixture is five feet uh, apart. So I can keep adding those. So as I keep adding, you can see the values building up here. And I can keep adding. And if I just want to say, hey, how many fixtures can I put on in on my data enabler in this configuration? I can also just hit maximize. That's going to give me 25 fixtures. So 1,250 watts, 11 amps, 25 fixtures. Now from here, what I can do is also, let's say I'm going to do some branch circuits. If I click on here, and let's just delete this out. Click on the fixture or the data enabler. And what we want to do is we want to do two runs. Let's say we put a data enabler in the middle of a run and uh, branch out in two, two directions. The first thing I'm going to want to do is add a junction box. So from data enabler to my junction box, let's say that's just, you know, two feet apart. So we'll do a short jump to a junction box then branch off into two directions. Click on the junction box, and what I can do is let's add our color blast. It always starts with a, a leader cable, but we just want to separate these every five feet. Color blast. We'll add another one, a jumper, five feet. And let's just say we'll add 10 fixtures, five feet apart. Now, in order to make another branch, I click on my junction box, and I need to branch over to another run. It doesn't allow me to add anything. When I click on my junction box, I have the properties down here, and I have the different types. If I left click on here, I have a drop down of different uh, types of junction boxes. The junction box size is going to take into account the amount of wires that can connect inside one junction box. So that surface area is important. So if I want to add additional wires into this junction box, I do have to jump up to the next largest junction box. Now once I do that, I can now add in my next branch. And now I can have a five foot over to my blast and add in an additional fixture. And we'll change that to five feet facing. And we can just add in, let's say, another 10. So now we have 10 fixtures on both sides, five feet apart. I can keep adding multiple fixtures in until this gives me an error and goes red. The other thing I could do is, let's say I want to add another branch. I click on here. Again, it doesn't allow me to add anything. So if I go to the junction box type, the largest junction box we have is the orange square 2.125. Click on that. Now I'll be able to add one more branch. The maximum amount of branches we can do is three. So on this run, what I can do is add, again, we'll change up to five feet. I can just keep adding fixtures, or what I can do is just on this branch, click on here and maximize. So in this branch, I can put one, two, three, four, five fixtures. So a total of 25 fixtures in this type of configuration, which is a very standard type of application. Now what we can do is another type of example is a linear. So we'll just delete all that out, click on here, and let's choose, let's say, 
color grays, power core, four foot. We'll do a linear run. If I add in my grays, I have a leader cable. Let's just make that a 10 foot jump. The 10 foot leader cable to my first fixture. Now when I add in my next grays fixture, it does automatically put in a jumper cable. The grays fixture, the design of this has to have a jumper cable. The fixture itself does not connect end to end. So a zero foot jumper is basically telling me it's an end to end connection. I can click on this jumper and we have standard one foot, five foot jumpers, or we can do custom jumpers um, in between the fixtures. But if I click on here and just keep adding, assuming that it's gonna be end to end, I can keep adding fixtures or I can maximize it. And it'll give me the amount of fixtures I can put on here. Another thing I wanna point out is if I click on, let's say this last fixture here, I wanna to try to add in, let's say a color blast. This will clear the configuration. It does not allow you to add different fixture types. I'm just gonna cancel that out. It will allow you though to add different type of, uh, within the same fixture family, different uh, types. So in this case, it's different uh, lengths. So if I wanna choose, let's say color grays, I can choose a two foot and then add that in there. So I can add different lengths. I just can't add different fixture families in here. And let's say I wanna finish this off with two footers. We can then maximize that. And that will give us a total of 28 fixtures with a combination of two foot and four foot. So you can do something like that. And one additional, delete these out. Okay. And let's just do a simple essential white connected to line voltage. Let's say we want to do even balance. How many one foot even balance can I put on my circuit? Let's say we'll bump this up to a 20 amp circuit, derated at 16 amps and add a fixture. We'll use the standard 10 feet. Now in this fixture, if I add in fixture, these do connect end to end. So we're not gonna get a jumper here. So a lot of times standard application, I can add in a couple fixtures and then either go around a corner or maybe go around a column. It's very common to add in a jumper, whether it's a, we click on this jumper, whether it's a one foot, a five foot or a custom jumper can add in, let's just say a five foot in this case, jump around a small column, and then we can do an additional run of fixtures. And we can add in, again, additional jumpers, depending on how the installation is, or if we wanna just maximize that out, we can do 52 one foot fixtures on a 20 amp circuit. That's derated to 16 amps. Again, it's only 6.2 amps. Um, again, this is taking into consideration the values of these connectors as well. So you don't wanna exceed the uh, resistance tolerance of these connectors. So that is a general overview of how the configuration calculator works. Um, again, this is a great tool to figure out how many fixtures you can put on your installation, um, doing your layout and uh, checking your drawings, making sure everything is correct.